Desigestrel, sold under the brand names Sarazet and Merced among many others, is a progestin medication which is used in birth control pills for women. It is also used in the treatment of menopausal symptoms in women. The medication is available and used alone or in combination with an estrogen. It is taken by mouth. Side effects of desigestrel include menstrual irregularities, headaches, nausea, breast tenderness, mood changes, acne, increased hair growth, and others. Desigestrel is a progestin, or a synthetic progestogen, and hence is an agonist of the progesterone receptor, the biological target of progestogens like progesterone. It has very weak androgenic and glucocorticoid activity and no other important hormonal activity. The medication is a prodrug of etinogestrel 3 ketodesogestrel in the body. Desigestrel was discovered in 1972 and was introduced for medical use in Europe in 1981. It became available in the United States in 1992. Desigestrel is sometimes referred to as a third generation progestin. Along with norethisterone, it is one of the only progestins that is widely available as a progestogen only mini pill for birth control. Desigestrel is marketed widely throughout the world. It is available as a generic medication. Medical uses Desigestrel is used in hormonal contraception in women, specifically in birth control pills. It is used alone in progestogen-only pills, mini pills, and in combination with the estrogen ethanolestradiol in combined oral contraceptive pills. Along with norethisterone, it is one of the only progestins that is widely used as a progestogen-only mini pill. It is also the only newer generation progestin with reduced androgenic activity that is used in such formulations. In addition to hormonal contraception, desigestrel has been used in combination with estrogens such as estradiol as a component of menopausal hormone therapy. The medication has also been used in the treatment of endometriosis. Available forms Desigestrel is available alone in the form of 75 micrograms oral tablets and at a dose of 150 micrograms in combination with 20 or 30 micrograms ethanolestradiol in oral tablets. These formulations are all indicated specifically for contraceptive purposes. Contraindications Contraindications of desigestrel include Allergy to desigestrel or any other ingredients Active thrombosis, deep vein thrombosis or pulmonary embolism Jaundice or severe liver disease Hormone-sensitive cancers, e.g., breast cancer Unexplained vaginal bleeding desogestrel is not indicated for use in pregnancy. It is not contraindicated during lactation and breastfeeding. Side effects Common side effects of desigestrel may include menstrual irregularities, amenorrhea, headaches, nausea, breast tenderness, and mood changes e.g., depression, as well as weight gain, acne, and hirsutism. However, it has also been reported to not adversely affect weight. In addition, acne and hirsutism are negligible when combined with ethanolestradiol, and this combination can actually be used to treat such symptoms. Desigestrel can also cause changes in total, LDL, and HDL cholesterol. Uncommon side effects of desigestrel may include vaginal infection, contact lens intolerance, vomiting, hair loss, dysmenorrhea, ovarian cysts, and fatigue, while rare side effects include rash, urticaria, and erythema nodosum. Breast discharge, ectopic pregnancies, and aggravation of angioedema may also occur with desigestrel. Serious side effects of combined oral contraceptives containing desigestrel may include venous thromboembolism, arterial thromboembolism, hormone-dependent tumors e.g., liver tumors, breast cancer, and melasma. Overdose No serious harmful effects have been reported with overdose of desigestrel. Symptoms may include nausea, vomiting, and, in young girls, slight vaginal bleeding. In safety studies, dosages of up to 750 micrograms per day desigestrel in women showed no adverse effects on laboratory and various other parameters and produced no reported subjective side effects. 
there is no antidote to desigestral overdose and treatment should be based on symptoms. Interactions Inducers of liver enzymes can increase the metabolism of desigestral and etanogestral and reduce their circulating levels. This may result in contraceptive failure. Examples of liver enzyme inducers include barbiturates e.g. phenobarbital, bocentin, carbamazepine, efavirenz, phenytoin, primidone, rifampicin, and possibly also felbamate, griseofulbin, oxcarbazepine, rifabutin, St. John's wort, and topiramate. Many antivirals for HIV, AIDS and HCV, such as bocepravir, nelfinavir, nivirapine, ritonavir, and teleprevir, may increase or decrease levels of desigestral and etanogestral. CYP3A4 inhibitors including strong inhibitors like clarithromycin, itraconazole, and ketoconazole and moderate inhibitors like diltiazem, erythromycin, and fluconazole may increase levels of desigestral and etanogestral. Hormonal contraceptives may interfere with the metabolism of other drugs, resulting in increased levels e.g., cyclosporin, or decreased levels e.g., lamotrigine. Pharmacology Pharmacodynamics Desigestral is a prodrug of etanogestral 3 ketodesogestral and, via this active metabolite, it has progestogenic activity, antigonadotropic effects, very weak androgenic activity, very weak glucocorticoid activity, and no other hormonal activity. Progestogenic activity Desigestral is a progestogen, or an agonist of the progesterone receptor PR. It is an inactive prodrug of etanogestrel with essentially no affinity for the PR itself, about 1% of that of promegestone. Hence, etanogestrel is exclusively responsible for the effects of desigestrel. Etanogestrel has about 150% of the affinity of promegestone and 300% of the affinity of progesterone for the PR. Desigestrel via etanogestrel is a very potent progestogen and inhibits ovulation at very low doses, in the low microgram range. The effective minimum dosage for inhibition of ovulation is 60 micrograms per day desigestrel alone, not in combination with an estrogen. Desigestrel and etanogestrel are among the most potent progestogens available, along with gestodine and levonorgestrel, which have effective ovulation inhibiting dosages 40 micrograms per day and 60 micrograms per day, respectively, and oral desigestrel is clinically on the order of 5,000 times more potent than oral micronized progesterone, which has an effective ovulation inhibiting dosage of 300 milligrams per day. Due to its progestogenic activity, desigestrel has potent functional antiestrogenic effects in certain tissues. It dose-dependently antagonizes the effects of ethanolestradiol on the vaginal epithelium, cervical mucus, and endometrium, with profound progestogenic effects occurring at a dosage of 60 micrograms per day. There is a rise in body temperature in some women at 30 micrograms per day and in all women at 60 micrograms per day. Desigestrel also has antigonadotropic effects, which are similarly due to its progestogenic activity. The contraceptive effects of desigestrel in women are mediated not only by prevention of ovulation via its antigonadotropic effects but also by its marked progestogenic and antiestrogenic effects on cervical mucus and the endometrium. Aside from its progestogenic activity, desigestrel also has some off-target hormonal activity at other steroid hormone receptors, see below. However, these activities are relatively weak, and desigestrel is said to be one of the most selective and pure progestogens used in oral contraceptives. Antigonadotropic effects Desigestrel has antigonadotropic effects via its progestogenic activity, similarly to other progestogens. It has been found to reduce testosterone levels by 15% in women at a dosage of 125 micrograms per day. In addition, desigestrel has been extensively investigated as an antigonadotropin at dosages of 150 to 300 micrograms per day in combination with testosterone in male contraceptive regimens. One study found that 150 micrograms per day and 300 micrograms per day desigestrel alone in healthy young men suppressed luteinizing hormone LH levels by about 35% and 42%, respectively, follicle-stimulating hormone FSH levels by about 47% and 55%, respectively, and testosterone levels by about 59% and 68%, respectively. 
LH levels were suppressed maximally by desigestrol within three days, whereas 14 days were necessary for maximal suppression of FSH and testosterone levels. A previous study by the same authors found that increasing the dosage of desigestrol from 300 micrograms per day to 450 micrograms per day resulted in no further suppression of gonadotropin concentrations. The addition of a low dose of 50 or 100 mg per week intramuscular testosterone enanthate after three weeks increased testosterone levels and further suppressed LH and FSH levels, to the limits of assay detection i.e., to undetectable or near-undetectable levels, in both the 150 micrograms per day and 300 micrograms per day desigestral groups. Upon cessation of treatment, levels of LH, FSH, and testosterone all recovered to baseline values within four weeks. Androgenic activity Adenogestrel has about 20% of the affinity of metribolone and 50% of the affinity of levonorgestrel for the androgen receptor R, while desigestrel has no affinity for this receptor. The 5-alpha reduced metabolite of adenogestrel, 5-alpha dihydroadenogestrel, 3-keto 5-alpha dihydrodesogestrel, also has some affinity for the R, about 17% of that of metribolone. Desigestrel via adenogestrel has very low androgenic potency, about 1.9 to 7.4% of that of methyl testosterone in animal assays, and hence is considered to be a very weak androgen. Although adenogestrel has about the same affinity for the R as norethisterone, due to the relatively increased progestogenic potency and decreased androgenic activity of adenogestrel, the drug has markedly higher selectivity for the PR over the R than older 19 nortestosterone progestins like norethisterone and levonorgestrel. Conversely, its selectivity for the PR over the R is similar to other newer 19 nortestosterone progestins like gestodine and norgestimate. It has been estimated that 150 micrograms per day desigestrel has less than one-sixth of the androgenic effect of 1 mg per day norethisterone, these being common dosages of the drugs used in combined oral contraceptives. Clinical studies with norethisterone even at very high dosages e.g., 10 to 60 mg per day have observed only mild androgenic effects in a minority of women including acne, increased sebum production, hirsutism, and slight virilization of female fetuses. In accordance with its very weak androgenic activity, desigestrel has minimal effects on lipid metabolism and the blood lipid profile, although there may still be some significant changes. Desigestrel also reduces sex hormone binding globulin SHBG, levels by 50% when given to women alone, but when combined with 30 micrograms per day ethanolestradiol, which in contrast strongly activates SHBG production, there is a 200% increase in SHBG concentrations. Desigestrel may slightly reduce ethanolestradiol induced increases in SHBG levels. However, at the dosages used in oral contraceptives and in combination with ethanolestradiol, which has potent functional antiandrogenic effects mainly due to increased SHBG levels, the androgenic activity of desigestrel is said to be essentially without any clinical relevance. Indeed, combined oral contraceptives containing ethanolestradiol and desigestrel have been found to significantly decrease free concentrations of testosterone and to possess overall antiandrogenic effects, significantly reducing symptoms of acne and hirsutism in women with hyperandrogenism. Glucocorticoid activity Desigestrel has no affinity for the glucocorticoid receptor, but adenogestrel has about 14% of the affinity of dexamethasone for this receptor. Hence, desigestrel and adenogestrel have weak glucocorticoid activity. At typical clinical dosages, the glucocorticoid activity of desigestrel is said to be negligible or very weak and hence not clinically relevant. However, it may nonetheless possibly influence vascular function, with some upregulation of the thrombin receptor observed with adenogestrel in vascular smooth muscle cells in vitro. This could, in theory, increase coagulation and contribute to an increased risk of venous thromboembolism and atherosclerosis. The affinity of adenogestrel for the glucocorticoid receptor is a product of its C11-methylene substitution, as substitutions at the C11 position are a common feature of corticosteroids and as levonorgestrel, which is adenogestrel without the C11-methylene group, 17-alpha-ethynyl-18-methyl-19-nortestosterone, has only 1% of the affinity of dexamethasone for the receptor and hence is considered to have negligible glucocorticoid activity. Other activities 
Desigestrel and adenogestrel have no affinity for the estrogen receptor, and hence have no estrogenic activity. However, the metabolite 3-beta-hydroxydesogestrel has weak affinity for the estrogen receptor, about 2% of that of estradiol, although the significance of this is uncertain. Desigestrel and adenogestrel have no affinity for the mineralocorticoid receptor, and hence have no mineralocorticoid or antimineralocorticoid activity. Desigestrel and adenogestrel show some albeit weak inhibition of 5-alpha reductase, 5.7% inhibition at 0.1 microm, 34.9% inhibition at 1 microm, and cytochrome P450 enzymes, e.g., CYP3A4, IC50 equals 5 microm, in vitro. Pharmacokinetics the bioavailability of desigestrel has been found to range from 40 to 100 percent, with an average of 76 percent. This significant interindividual variability is comparable to that with norethisterone and levonorgestrel. Peak concentrations of adenogestrel occur about 1.5 hours after a dose while concentrations of desigestrel are very low and have disappeared by 3 hours after a dose. Steady state levels of adenogestrel are achieved after about 8 to 10 days of daily administration. Accumulation of adenogestrel is thought to be related to progressive inhibition of 5-alpha reductase and cytochrome P450 monooxygenases, e.g., CYP3A4. The plasma protein binding of desigestrel is 99% and it is bound exclusively to albumin. Adenogestrel is bound 95 to 98% to plasma proteins. It is bound about 65 to 66% to albumin and 30 to 32% to SHBG, with 2 to 5% free in the circulation. While desigestrel is not bound to SHBG, adenogestrel has relatively high affinity for this plasma protein of 3 to 15% of that of dihydrotestosterone, although this is considerably less than that of the related progestins levonorgestrel and gestodine. Neither desigestrel nor adenogestrel are bound by corticosteroid binding globulin. Desigestrel is a prodrug of adenogestrel 3 ketodesogestrel and upon ingestion is rapidly and completely transformed into this metabolite in the intestines and liver. Hydroxylation of the C3 position of desigestrel catalyzed by cytochrome P450 dependent enzymes, with 3 alpha hydroxydesogestrel and 3 beta hydroxydesogestrel as intermediates, followed by oxidation of the C3 hydroxyl group, is responsible for the transformation. A small percentage of desigestrel is metabolized into levonorgestrel, which involves the removal of the C11 methylene group. Following further metabolism of adenogestrel, which occurs mainly by reduction of the delta 4 to 3 keto group by 5 alpha and 5 beta reductases and hydroxylation by monooxygenases, the major metabolite of desigestrel is 3 alpha 5 alpha tetrahydroadenogestrel. Desigestrel has a very short terminal half life of about 1.5 hours, while adenogestrel has a relatively long elimination half life of about 21 to 38 hours, reflecting the nature of desigestrel as a prodrug. Desigestrel and adenogestrel are eliminated exclusively as metabolites 50% in urine and 35% in feces. Chemistry Desigestrel, also known as 3-DEKETO-11-methylene-17-alpha-ETHYNYL-18-methyl-19-nortestosterone-or as 11-methylene-17-alpha-ETHYNYL-18-METHYLESTR-4N17-beta-OL, is a synthetic estrained steroid and a derivative of testosterone. It is more specifically a derivative of norethisterone 17 alpha ethynyl 19 nortestosterone and is a member of the ganane 13 beta ethyl ganane or 18 methylestrane subgroup of the 19 nortestosterone family of progestins Desigestrel is the C3 diketo analog of adenogestrel and the C3 diketo and C11 methylene analog of levonorgestrel Synthesis a chemical synthesis of desigestrel has been published. History Desigestrel was synthesized in 1972 by Organon International in the Netherlands and was first described in the literature in 1975. It was developed following the discovery that C11 substitutions enhance the biological activity of norethisterone. 
Desigestrel was introduced for medical use in 1981 under the brand names Marvelin and Desigen in the Netherlands. Along with Gestodine and Norgestimate, it is sometimes referred to as a third generation progestin based on the time of its introduction to the market. It was the first of the three third generation progestins to be introduced. Although Desigestrel was introduced in 1981 and was widely used in Europe from this time, it was not introduced in the United States until 1992. Society and culture Generic names Desigestrel is the generic name of the drug and its IN, USAN, BAN, DCF, DCIT, and JAN. While under development, it was known as Org 2969. Brand names Desigestrel is marketed under a variety of brand names throughout the world including Alenbona, Apra, Azalia, Azurette, Kaziant, Sarazet, Sorel, Seja, Cyclesa, Denise, Desigen, Desirate, Diamilla, Emoket, Finala, Gedaril, Gracial, Kariva, Larina, Lanessa, Marvelin, Mersalon, Merset, Mervala, Navanet, Orthosept, Reclipsin, Regulin, Solia, Velovit, and Virel among others. Availability Desigestrel is available widely throughout the world, including in the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, Ireland, many other European countries, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, Latin America, South, East, and Southeast Asia, and elsewhere in the world. In the United States, it is available only in combination with ethanolistradiol as a combined oral contraceptive, it is not available alone and is not approved for any other indications in this country. Controversy In February 2007, the consumer advocacy group Public Citizen released a petition requesting that the Food and Drug Administration ban oral contraceptives containing desigestrel in the United States, citing studies going as far back as 1995 that suggest the risk of dangerous blood clots is doubled for women on such pills in comparison to other oral contraceptives. In 2009, Public Citizen released a list of recommendations that included numerous alternative, second-generation birth control pills that women could take in place of oral contraceptives containing desigestrel. Most of those second-generation medications have been on the market longer and have been shown to be as effective in preventing unwanted pregnancy, but with a lower risk of blood clots. Medications cited specifically in the petition include APRI-28, Cyclesa, Desigen, Kariva, Merset, Orthosept, Reclipsin, Velovit, and some generic pills, all of which contain desigestrel in combination with ethanolistradiol. Medications containing desigestrel as the only active ingredient, as opposed to being used in conjunction with ethanolistradiol, like in combined oral contraceptives, do not show an increased thrombosis risk and are therefore safer than second-generation birth control pills in regards to thrombosis. Research Desigestrel has been studied extensively as an antigonadotropin for use in combination with testosterone as a hormonal contraceptive in men. Such combinations have been found to be effective in producing reversible azoospermia in most men and reversible azoospermia or severe oligozoospermia in almost all men. References Further reading <laughs>